Okay, what's up, guys? So, um, SP, lecture 12, variables and logic. Well, um, here are the past lecture links, attendance, website. Okay, so part one, functions, variables, and logic. So, um, yeah, this lesson, we don't need to use any, like, AI to help you code. So, well, Okay, so let's take a look um, about the three aspects of programming. Uh, basically, I just made this thing up because I believe it's the correct way to learn it. So um, first of all, you see like there are variables that store stuff in the computer. So a variable can be um, just stores things inside the program. And then a function is like a kind of like math where you can put something in and it gives something back out. And logic is determining how the program will behave based on the given conditions. So um, some examples, um, for example, variables are given to a function and logic, so they can be altered by them as well. And then functions contain logic that takes in and gives out variables or alters them, and logic just checks for the conditions of variables and call functions inside them. So this is the relation between the three, so they're like all interconnected. Yeah, they interact. Some example would be like integer a equals zero, integer b, or floating point variable c is equal to 3.14. Um, so a void is a type of function. It's called, the function is called h, and then it prints out a string. No, you input a string called s, and then it prints out s. A condition is if a is zero, then h, which is the function here, and then the string input is a is zero, so it's gonna print out a is zero. And then if a is not zero, it's gonna print out a is not zero. So in this case, if we just simply look at this, a is zero here. And then if a is zero, then print out a is zero. So if you run this program, it's gonna just print out a is zero. Okay. So um, here's just some important type of variables. You can like pause the video to look at it yourself because we're speed running. So you can also pause the video to read through. So basically, when you declare a variable, you just list out the type and the name. When you define a variable, you have to say what the variable is equals to. So yeah. And then important features in logic is uh, if and for, uh, literally like the only two thing you need. So all programs can be like simplified to only loops and conditions. So a language is only with only like if and for is um, basically enough to do anything if you think about it the program just have to like cycle indefinitely and go through all the conditions that's the only thing a program has to do so yeah you can accomplish any task with only loops and conditions so yeah so let's look at if it's pretty simple just like when you're you're like talking it's just simple logic so if the sky is blue then I will go outside okay so if sky its color is blue, then Kevin, go outside. And then if the number of apples is greater than eight, then eat one apple. So if apple amount is more than eight, then eat. And then you deduct one from the apples count. Well, these code actually don't do anything. It's just an example to show you how it works. So um, let's just take a look at the code. So let's use the sky example, cause I like it. So. We're just gonna do it like this. So make a string, call it called blue, okay? And then if sky is blue, then print Kevin go outside. So if I run this, it's just gonna say um, Kevin going outside, okay? So um, let me let me do it by first. In the main build function, I'll just call this function, which is function three. So I'll just do that. And then now I'll just run it. So if I just run. Oh yeah, by the way, there's nothing to see here because I'm only showcasing the functions. It's got nothing to do with what's displayed on screen, okay? Well, that's taking a while. Anyways, let's look at some else, uh, other stuff. So if and else if, okay? So if sky is blue, go outside. If sky is red, close the window so you can see blue go outside and then you can append the else if after if so it's like um you know sky color is red and then close the window but let's see if it's done 
Oh, it's done. Oh, interestingly, it didn't print anything. Okay, so yeah, now it's saying this, okay, got it. So um, let's try the second example. So what was it now? So um, just now in the example, it said if sky is blue, then I'll go outside and else if sky is um red, then um, I'll close the window. So oh, another cool thing is in um, Dart, like the double quotes, quotation marks and the single quotation marks, they're interchangeable because if you want to print a single quotation mark, like you can just do this and you can print a single quotation mark. It's just for your convenience. Okay, yeah, so now let's assume this guy is red now, so which is pretty bad. And then if I just run the thing again, it's going to say Kevin closed window. So yeah, pretty easy, huh? Well, let's go to if, else if, and else. So if sky is blue, go outside. If it's red, close the window. And if none, none of the above are true, then go to sleep. Okay, so we just append that. So um, let's say um, let's say the sky is um, okay, just not red and blue to trigger the else. So let's just say uh, the sky is whatever that is. And then um, we reload again. You can see sleep. All right, pretty simple. Oh yeah, setting states. So this is pretty important. So basically, I already showcased it before, but when you have a different state, for example, um, when something happens on screen and you want to redraw the entire thing. So for example, you have a normal page, and then when the user clicks a button, it's gonna you want it to draw a circle. So like if button is clicked, then draw a circle, and then after the draw circle code, you have to add this line set state because it tells the Flutter engine to redraw the scene so you can see the circle. Um, for example, like this. For example, let's say you are drawing the number of apples on screen and then you have eight apples and then you say um, void eat apple. So the, oh, actually, it's just apple. So apples number will plus two and you set state. So it will go from eight apples on screen to 10 apples. Okay, just an example. Okay, so now this one. If the user clicks on an item in the shop, it shows the confirmed purchase page. Then if the user clicks a small cross on top of the confirmed purchase page, it goes back to a list of shop items. Well, actually, it's not a serious example anymore. It's a serious classwork. So pause the video and try to do it yourself right now. OK, yeah, basically, pause the video and do it right now. OK. Just the logic part. Uh, whatever, I'm going to continue. So um, a better logic to do this would be um, instead of the example. Oh, Lamel, the slides are messed up. OK, anyways, here's the solution. So um, if the shop item is clicked and draw shop item details and confirm purchase. So just something like that, a function that draws the shop item details page. Else, nothing happens. And then if the close button is clicked, Draw the list of items page. Okay, select the normal page. A better logic to do it would be you first set a variable, a bool variable, which only has true or false. Initially, it's false, which means the window is closed. And then you have a widget draw details. So um, this function just returns the item details drawing page. And then also a widget draw list, which draws the list of items you can buy. So if the window opens true, then it means that you have clicked into the thing. So it's going to um, draw the details window. And then if windows open is false, then it's going to draw the items list. And then you have a void toggle window. So when you click a button, it calls the toggle window. So um, this will, uh, if the window opens true, it's going to go false. And if it's false, it's going to go true. And then, oh, yeah, I kind of forgot. But in the end of toggle window, you have to add set state to tell the flutter engine to redraw the frame okay so yeah this is uh the solution to the example if you have something like that uh i'll accept it 
Oh, great, we're pretty fast. So now it's part two. Well, go watch the part two video. Yeah, let me out.